My name is Aaron and I am HIV positive. I live in St. Louis, Missouri. And you are watching this video because either A, you did a search on Google or YouTube of HIV AIDS and I popped up, or because someone felt that you needed to watch this video. HIV, as you can see, this is what it looks like. I am healthy. I am relatively young. I am funny. I'm a brother, an uncle, a cousin, and all these things. HIV currently, uh, there are 36 million approximate people that are living with HIV globally. And since it arrived um, on the scene, we have lost uh, approximately 30 million people. And it's still very much an issue. But someone sent you this video because they felt like you needed to learn a little bit. So let's do a crash course. HIV is the virus that causes AIDS. AIDS is a clinical term that means that a person that's living with HIV, their immune system has been compromised to a point where they are um, opened up to AIDS-defining illnesses or opportunistic infections. And typically, that's a CD4 count below 200 and an AIDS-defining illness. If you remember from biology class, um, you have these cells in your immune system that eat up all the bad things and they make you better, they make you feel better. And that's a very simplistic version. Um, but AIDS is caused by HIV. If you are HIV positive, you take medications called ARTs, antiretroviral um, therapies or medications. And these keep the um, HIV virus um, from replicating or from duplicating and spreading throughout your system. Now, you cannot contract HIV through casual contact. Um, HIV is thread, spread, spread through the blood, through vaginal fluid, breast milk. Um, so ways that it's primarily spread are through unprotected intercourse, um, childbirth, um, and uh, blood transfusions or um, IV uh, drug use. I would challenge you do not let fear dominate how you treat people, especially those that are living with HIV. Those living with HIV can be your friends, your family, your coworkers, people you go to school with. And if you allow fear to dominate how you treat people or to dictate how you treat people, you're no different from people who have tried to domineer um, minorities and people in the in the in our country's history in the U.S. because of what they felt and fear. It is not easy living with HIV, and it's not easy telling someone that you're HIV positive. So my advice to you is be a friend, be a family member, be someone who's there and supporting, and educate yourself. There are plenty of great websites, there are tons of books out there, there are tons of Facebook groups or Twitter groups, I, I'm, there's just tons of information. You never know what your friendship and your love to a person who's positive will mean. And for some, it actually is a matter of life and death. One in five people who are infected with HIV are not aware of it. And the stigma that's attached to HIV AIDS can negatively impact um, people 
and keep them from getting tested and subsequently treated. If you're watching this video, please spread it. Please tell everyone you know about this video and help it go viral. My name is Aaron Laxon and I'm HIV positive and there's 36 million other people out there just like me. I'm not unremarkable. I'm just very loud. My name's Aaron Laxon, I'm HIV positive. Now you've got a choice. What are you going to do? Are you going to open up your heart and your mind and love people? Or are you going to be a bigot and hateful and stigmatizing? The choice is yours. As I end all my videos, till my next video, do something positive.